A stressful chapter for an Alberta couple has finally come to an end. The Crown has dropped charges against David and Colette Stephan. The couple was charged in the death of their 19-month-old son Ezekiel back in 2012. BCN's Naveen Day has the story. It has been a long battle for the Stephans. Shortly after the death of their 19-month-old son Ezekiel, years of battling in court to prove their innocence ensued when they were charged with failing to provide the necessaries of life for their child. During their trials, the couple said they initially thought Ezekiel had croup and treated him with natural remedies. They called the paramedics when Ezekiel stopped breathing, and sadly the boy died a short time later. A jury convicted the couple in 2016, but the Supreme Court overturned their verdict and ordered a new trial. A judge found them not guilty in 2019. But the Alberta Court of Appeal granted a request by the Crown to overturn the acquittal and order a third trial. The Crown recently dropped the charges, and no reason was given for the decision, and Alberta Justice did not respond to a request to explain why. David Steffen says the reason may have to do with the credentials of the forensic pathologist that did the autopsy. He's now in the States and he's under um, credential fraud investigation in two separate states, the state of Kansas and the state of Indiana. Now, on top of that, he's got his own criminal proceedings coming against him as well, um, starting in September of this year um, for drunk driving and injuring a woman. Now, that drunk driving incident took place one week after the initial uh, investigation began um, for credential fraud. So he may not actually even be a doctor. According to Stefan, his battle is far from over. He says he is returning to the Supreme Court to defend parental rights and parents' choice of care. Innocent parents are now becoming criminals because of choice of care, because they had, you know, maybe they favored natural medicine, uh, even though there's no case of neglect that can be established, you know, it just comes down to whether or not they favored pharmaceutical medicine versus natural medicine or Ayurvedic medicine or, or whatever it may be. And so that doesn't make you a criminal here in Canada, but yet they've been attempting to do that to establish that precedent. Stefan reports that over the last nine years, the ordeal has cost the couple well over $1.5 million to defend their case but estimates the Crown spent about $10 million in public funds in pursuit of convicting the couple. For Bridge City News, I'm Naveen Day.